Good morning and thank you for being here with me today. Today we're here to talk about the school year 2014-2015 equity reports and the mid-year entry and withdrawal data verification. My name is Katie Williams and I'm with the Division of Data Accountability and Research with the Office of the State Superintendent for Education. To quickly go over what we're going to talk about in the webinar today, we're going to review the timeline for data verification as well as the guidance being provided to LEAs to make sure that you can successfully complete the data verification. We're going to take a look at the mid-year entry and withdrawal verification application in QuickBase, and we're going to give you an opportunity to ask any questions you have of Aussie about the process. If you have any questions as I go through the webinar, please enter them in the question box in the navigation panel on the right-hand side of your screen. I'm going to pause periodically throughout the webinar to answer any questions you have. While most people probably already know this, I just want to give a brief overview of what the equity reports are. The equity reports are a collaborative effort between OSSI, the District of Columbia Public Schools, the DC Public Charter School Board, the Deputy Mayor for Education, and the New Schools Venture Fund to complement OSSI's, OSSI's Learn DC School Profiles, DCPS's School Scorecards, and PCSB's Performance Management Framework. The reports are housed on Aussie's LearnDC.org website, a screenshot of which is shown below. The mid-year entry and withdrawal metric is one of the metrics on the equity reports, and it is a metric that reports the monthly inflow and outflow of students to and from the DC schools over the course of the year. A graph of the mid-year entry and withdrawal metric as it's shown on the equity reports, is shown in the screenshot below. For the 2014-15 equity reports, LEAs will have an opportunity to verify and make corrections to the enrollment audit, to the enrollment and withdrawal data that will be used in part to generate the mid-year entry and withdrawal metrics. The enrollment and withdrawal data of all students enrolled in your LEA throughout the school year is published in QuickBase. LEAs should review the data to ensure accuracy and completeness and make any changes in QuickBase and also in your student information system where necessary. The timeline for verification is as follows from July 8th until July 31st you will be able to review and make edits to the enrollment and withdrawal information in QuickBase. From August 1st through August 10th, OSSI will review any of the changes made and resolve any remaining issues. Then OSSI will calculate the mid-year entry and withdrawal metrics. The calculated metrics and the updated student information will be made available to LEAs through DCPS and PCSB on August 10th, and LEAs will have until August 21st to, make a, to have a final review of the calculations. To give you a little bit of information about what this report is that you'll be reviewing in, in QuickBase, it's called the Enrollment and Withdrawal Report. This report displays all of the enrollment and withdrawal information of all students enrolled in the LEA between the dates of October 6, 2014 and May 31, 2015. There's one record for each period of enrollment of the student. So if a student was enrolled in the school, exited, and then enrolled again, the student would have two different enrollment periods and so two different records in the report. Additionally, pre-enrollments um, indicated by the entry code 1800 are not part of this verification because a pre-enrollment means that the student has not yet shown up to the school to receive educational services. Finally, the report will indicate if a student has an overlapping enrollment with another school. 
or potentially multiple schools. Students with overlapping enrollments are flagged with a yes in the overlapping enrollment indicator field. If there is no overlapping enrollment, the field will be blank. Vacation process. First, you need to log into QuickBase following the um, URL shown on the screen. You should have also received an invitation to your email inviting you to just click on the link in the email and log in. If you have a username and password but have forgotten the password, you there is a place on the login screen where you can reset your password. Aussie does not maintain QuickBase logins or passwords. Once you're logged in, you need to select the Equity Reports Mid-Year Entry and Withdrawal Verification application from your My App screen. Then, follow the instructions under the General Instructions section under the main landing page, as shown in the screenshot below. And then, to see the student level information, you'll click on the Enrollment and Withdrawal Report icon, circled in red in the screenshot below, and that will take you to the report showing the student level data. From there, you should review each student's enrollment and withdrawal information for accuracy and completeness, paying especially close attention to the students where the overlapping enrollment indicator is marked yes, as shown below. To make a change, click on the grid edit icon, circled below. The grid edit button essentially turns your screen into a spreadsheet. Any edit by double clicking inside the field. So the screenshot here shows I double clicked inside the enrollment date field and then you can make the desired change and when you're done making the change you would press save in the upper right hand corner. Now let me take you to QuickBase to show you what this is going to look like. I've gone to the login screen. I've already plugged in all of my information and I log in. From my My Apps page, I'm going to select the Equity Reports Mid Year Entry and Withdrawal Verification app. Now, from the main dashboard, I'm going to read the general guidance, the general instructions. And then click on the Enrollment and Withdrawal icon. You can see here now I have my student level information. And I, you can see that I have two students, or one student entered twice, who has an, an overlapping enrollment. If I want to make changes to this, I would click here and I would review the enrollment and withdrawal dates. And I would say the withdrawal date is inaccurate. I double click and I want to change this to 5-30-2015. Click out. And I press save. And now you can see the 5.30 withdrawal date is reflected. If you have any questions about logging in, accessing your student information, verifying the data or making changes, please feel free to contact me at katie.williams at dc.gov. 
This webinar is being recorded and will be published on the OSSEE website. Please check the LEA Look Forward for publication details. At this point, I will take any questions you have. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And um, I look forward to working with you over this verification in the next month.